Action 7 News was there as a man and woman tried to escape from police in a high-speed car chase yesterday. We were first on the air as it continued to unfold live. Wow. After an eight-hour standoff, they are off the street waking up behind bars. It all started after the couple allegedly carjacked a woman's SUV Tuesday night. Yeah, officers then spotted them yesterday morning. This set off that chase. Action 7 News reporter Sandra Ramirez is live this morning from the spot where they were arrested. She has more on this wild chase. Sandra. Yeah, that's right, Todd Marissa. After 25 tense minutes, Sky 7 captured exclusive footage of the couple making a big mistake. They cornered themselves inside of this alley here when they realized they had nowhere else to go. They ran into this tire shop. Now, Albuquerque police say Martin Duran was behind the wheel. Investigators say he carjacked that 81 year old woman at gunpoint Tuesday, as you mentioned. Now, you can see the SUV blow through a red light, nearly slamming into a gray car during that chase. Then at one point, driving into oncoming traffic, the SUV jumps a curve to get around. Driver stopped at a light, and we spoke exclusively to Marlene Tucker. She says she was nearly hit while walking her dog. It was scary. You don't know when you're going across the street and somebody's going to fly through here and mow you down. You know, it's real scary, especially with kids in the area. Now, after taking a turn down an unpaved road, the SUV was boxed in. You can see Duran and Alicia Lopez make a run for it into the tire shop here on Central in Louisiana. Lopez then surrendered to police. SWAT officers later went in to take Duran into custody hours later. Now, luckily, no one was injured during this chase. Both Lopez and Duran are expected in court today to answer to all of those charges. Reporting live near Central in Louisiana, Sandra Ramirez, KOAT Action 7 News.